considering we are in the Dubai Air Show, I think it's relevant to talk about our autonomous technology and more specifically about our UAVs and, and drones. I think what's an interesting milestone is two years ago, Dubai Air Show time, at that time we had one UAV which was the Garmusha, the helicopter unmanned drone. Today, we have over eight to nine platforms of UAVs, not loitering ammunition, this is just the UAV category. It shows how fast we are moving in this category. A year and a half ago in IDEX, we announced the Reach S, which was a pure plastic mock-up, you can call it a toy, presented on the shop floor. And we said to people, we'll develop it fast and it will be a key product in the market. People were skeptical on how long it will take to do so. This plane now, you could see it in the video, is already flying, is already releasing weapons, and is going to deliver to customers next year. So under 36 months, we went from a sketch to a full product delivery. Now we've expanded our product portfolio with ReachM and other products. And what you see behind you is Senyar, is another part of our acquisition size that we can talk about based on what we need. So tell me, where is the demand coming from? Are you supplying mostly the domestic industry or are you looking to international partners as well? I think we have two split of, of, of markets. For sure, we are serving as anchor client our domestic market to serve them with the latest technologies, latest products that are sovereign to us. So definitely they are a key anchor client to us. But if we take a good example, November now is nearly four years since Edge was inaugurated. So we're just four years old as, a, as an overall group. Four years ago, our export booked sales was, I think, 60 to $80 million. 2022, our closed book sales, export sales, so not local client, was $1.5 billion. We went from nearly $80 million to $1.5 billion in that regard, which shows these are not local clients, these are not local relationships, these are export clients. This shows the kind of momentum we're having, the kind of credibility we're building with clients, and the kind of technology demonstration that we're having that's gaining credibility in the market. So what do the numbers look like for 2023? Well, if there's another month or so, a uh, month and a half to go, there are a few more deals. As a good example, a month or so ago, we announced a buying of a strategic company in Brazil, SIAT. They specialized in uh, naval missiles and things like that. We bought them a month ago. We are, as a strategic uh, uh, investor, we are integrating our technology, our weapons with them. Within one month, the Brazilian Navy today announced around $156 million order of the missile that we are now developing with the company we bought. The UAE Navy will announce tomorrow another large order on the same missile. And in 60 days to 90 days, there will be another large order from another country on the same missile because now Edge is involved in this missile and is growing this missile in that regard. So this is the kind of growth that we are seeing. There are a few more deals to be done at the end of the month and then let's see where we will stand.